For today's workout, you're going to need a simple foam roller or again a pillow or two pillows that you can put together or even a basketball or a volleyball will work for this. There's one exercise later on where we're just going to put it between the legs and squeeze. Once you do have that, you can put that down. All right. Today we're going to focus on the hamstrings, kind of lengthening and strengthening the hamstrings, as well as focusing on those inner thigh muscles, lengthening and strengthening there too. I know some of us aesthetically want to tone up those inner thighs as well. This is going to help for those of you who have to be sitting a lot more often than maybe you used to, right? So when we're sitting, the hamstring heels in a shortened position. And that shortened position pulls on its anchors and the lower back, it can lead to back pain, hip pain, all that kind of stuff. So if you know anyone who has back pain, has hip pain, just needs to stretch out their hamstrings, definitely forward this workout to them. We're going to begin by laying on your back side. So you can go ahead and lay down on the ground. We're going to go right through leg extensions here. So I'm going to interlace my hands underneath my right knee. My left leg is flat on the ground with my right toe flexed toward my face. I'm going to go ahead and extend the leg up toward the sky, feeling that hamstring stretch and then down with control. We're going to do that for 10 reps. Go ahead and begin. So we extend the leg up, squeeze the quad, point the toe toward your face. So you feel that hamstring stretch down and then right back up. Inhale down and exhale back up. You can go at your own pace. Just get about 10 reps each side here. I'm on about four. So we're kind of pinning the lower back to the ground, abs nice and tight. Keep the toes flexed toward the face. The right leg is extending up as that left leg is flat on the ground. I'm going to get about three more here. And one more. And again, you should feel that big hamstring stretch underneath the leg at the top of that leg extension. Go ahead and switch sides. So interlacing the hands under the left leg. I've got my right leg straight. Pointing the toes toward the face. We're going to go ahead and extend up. Feel that hamstring stretch. And then right back down. Again, 10 reps each side, go ahead and start if you haven't. Inhale as the foot comes down to about 90 degrees and exhale that right back up. About two or three more. Inhale down, big exhale as you drive the foot up. Feel that nice stretch. Okay, now right after those 10 leg extensions, we're gonna go right into 10 high kicks. So you're gonna pin your arms, palms down by your waist, pushing your lower back to the ground, squeezing your core. Go ahead and kick your right leg up as high as you can and then back down. Keep your abs nice and tight, head relaxed, shoulders are back. And we're gonna get 10 high kicks on one side and then switch. Big inhale down, exhale that up. Good. Finish through your 10 reps at your own pace. I've got about four more. Inhaling down, big exhale up. Again, feeling that hamstring stretch, a little bit of hip flexor work in the quads there. And other side. So again, we pin the lower back down, pin the arms down, shoulders back, exhale up, inhale down. 10 reps. These are great dynamic stretches for the hamstrings, kind of increase some blood flow, get the nervous system to wake up these muscles here. I'm going to hit just four more. And last one. All right. From here, we're going to get on the front side of the body and move to a half kneeling inner thigh stretch. So we're going to put the right leg out to the side squaring the foot on the ground, slightly pointing the toes up. So the foot is flat, toes are pointed slightly out. Hands are going to be straight underneath the shoulders. From here, arch your lower back as you push your hips backwards, feeling that big stretch come up the inner thighs here, the adductors, and then we're going to push those hips forward. So we inhale and exhale, start to push those hips back. Go ahead and start if you haven't. We're rocking through 10 reps here. So inhale as we come forward and big exhale to come back. I'm just going to turn and give you a different angle here. You can continue through. 
All right, so I've got my lower back arched, my right leg is out straight, pushing those hips back, feeling that stretch, climb up the inner thigh on the right side, and then forward. Again, 10 reps each side. Inhale as you come forward, big exhale back. Try to maintain that lower back arch as best you can. I'm gonna hit four more on this side. Go nice and slow, really let that stretch climb up the inner thigh. And one more. All right, we're gonna go ahead and switch legs here. So now I'm gonna bring my left leg out to the side. My right knee is on the ground, left leg nice and straight, hands underneath the shoulders, arch your lower back, and go ahead and start to push those hips back as you exhale, feeling that stretch come right up the inner thigh, take it forward, and right back. Try to keep those arms straight, inhaling as you come forward, big exhale, pushing back. Try to maintain that lower back arch. I'm gonna get about four more here. One. Two. And last two reps. Again, you should feel that stretch climbing pretty much from the knee up into the inner thigh of your groin there. All right. From here, we're gonna go ahead and stand up. We're gonna move into a Spider-Man lunge into a hamstring stretch. So I'm gonna step forward with my right foot as far as I pretty much can, keeping the knee over the ankle. From here, hands are down to the inside of that right ankle. We're gonna feel that nice stretch come through the left hip flexors, the right hamstring as we arch the lower back. Now from here, we're gonna stand this up tall by straightening the front leg turning the left ankle down. So your left heel is down on the ground, kind of turn to the side, that right leg is straight, you feel a nice stretch coming up that right hamstring. We're gonna go ahead and pop down into Spider-Man lunge again. So I'm squaring my back ankle off the ground, arching my back, feeling that nice stretch, and then moving right back into this triangle pose by putting the left heel down, straightening the right leg all the way up. If you can't straighten it, keep it bent, but you should feel that nice hamstring stretch coming up that right side. Go ahead, right back down into that Spider-Man lunge. So hands are underneath the shoulders. We're gonna arch the lower back, dropping the hips. Then we're gonna straighten that right leg as we drop that left heel down. That right leg nice and straight. We feel that hamstring stretch underneath. Go ahead and drop back down, step back, and stand that up. We're gonna switch sides here, doing three reps on this side as well. So I'm gonna step out with my left leg, hands down to the inside, arching my back as I drop my hips, feeling a nice stretch in the right hip flexors and the left hamstring. From here, we're gonna straighten that left leg as we walk the torso back, put the right heel down on the ground, turning the foot off to the side just a little bit, and again, now you feel that nice stretch coming up the straight leg, which is our left leg here. Going back down into the Spider-Man lunge, big arch, dropping those hips as we exhale, and right back into that triangle pose. So we've got that left leg straight, right heel down, feeling that nice stretch come up the left hamstrings. All right, one more time. Go ahead, drop those hips, arch the back, and then back up, Left leg is straight as you walk it back, feeling that stretch come up that left side. Okay, going back down into that Spider-Man lunge and walking that right up. From there, we're gonna move into the single leg RDL. So again, looking to lengthen and kind of strengthen those hamstrings. So standing on the left leg here, I'm gonna bend my right ankle up to about 90 degrees at the knee. From here, we're gonna push the hips back pushing the right knee backwards until the body comes parallel to the ground, feeling that hamstring stretch, and then we're gonna stand up. We're gonna hit eight reps on one side. So this knee is bent, push those hips back, feel that nice hamstring stretch on the left side as you become parallel with the ground with your torso, push the foot in the ground and stand up. Begin if you haven't, again, aiming for about eight reps. So we're keeping the toes kind of flexed here. 
Keeping the legs and core nice and tight, pushing the foot into the ground as we push the hips back till the torso becomes parallel, and then standing that up. We're gonna hit about four more. Should be feeling that fire start to burn. If you're having trouble with balance, definitely go ahead and just hold on to something. All right, I want you to feel the struggle in the hamstring and not so much in your stabilizers and your ankle. One more on this side. All right, we're gonna go ahead and switch. I'm just gonna give you a slightly different view of this. So now I've got my left foot up, bent back, left toes are flexed. We're gonna push the hips back as we push that left knee back, feeling that stretch this time in the right side. Stand up and squeeze. Continue through for about eight reps on this side as well. Now again, if you're having trouble with balance, just hold on to something near you. You can use that foam roller, the wall next to you. Inhale as we go down, exhale as we come up. Continuing to push the foot into the ground so you've got a nice connection with the floor underneath you. I'm gonna hit two more reps. Woo, speaking of balance, and one more here. And shake that out. Go ahead and get back to the base of your mat. We're gonna go through that Spider-Man lunge into that triangle pose. Three reps each side again. And move a little quicker this time. So right foot steps out, hands down to the inside of the right leg. Drop the hips, arch your lower back. Stand that up tall, so both legs are straight. Right leg straight, left leg straight by turning the heel in and down. So that left heel is down as well. Coming back into that Spider-Man lunge, popping the heel up. Arching the lower back, most of my weight is in my front right heel. And then back into that triangle pose. Left foot rotates down, right leg nice and straight, feeling that stretch. Back into Spider-Man lunge. Big arch as you drop those hips. And last one, going into that triangle pose. Standing up tall, both legs are nice and straight, feeling that stretch underneath the right leg. From here, back to Spider-Man and stand that up. And we step up with the left leg this time. So left leg out, hands down, directly outside the arch of the left foot. Arch your back as you drop your hips, feeling that stretch take over in both legs. Rotate the right heel down as you straighten the left leg. Feeling that stretch now, climb underneath the left hamstring. Back into that Spider-Man lunge. Right back up into that triangle pose. One more time each. Down into that Spider-Man lunge. Inhale as you move. Exhale when you get into the deepest part of that stretch. Inhale as we move up. Big exhale to this last triangle stretch. Back down to Spider-Man, and you can walk that back up. And so again, today's primary focus is lengthening and kind of strengthening those hamstrings and inner thigh or adductor muscles. Moving right back to the Romanian deadlift for the RDL. So we're gonna go ahead and bend that right leg up, kind of squeeze the right hamstring and glute. So you've got some activation on that side. Good, push those hips back, feeling that stretch on the left side as the Torso becomes parallel to the ground, and then stand that up tall. Go ahead and go for about eight to 10 reps this time. Really go at your own pace, and just identify that working muscle, in this case, that left hamstring, a little bit of the glutes there, as the hips come forward and we squeeze. We're gonna go for about three more, inhaling as we go back. Exhale, push the foot in the ground, stand up tall. And last one on this side. Good, shake that out. Now if these are difficult for you, definitely practice these every day. Stronger and more robust those hamstrings are, the safer your lower back is gonna be. So now I'm standing on that right leg, Left leg is bent, left glute is squeezed, pushing the left knee back till the torso becomes about parallel, and then right up. Now make sure as you're doing this, you're keeping your spine nice and stacked. So the shoulders are back, maintaining an arch as best we can as we go through. Again, maybe about eight to 10 reps here. Just go at your own pace. 
Really connect into those hamstrings. Inhaling, pushing the hips back, staying in the heel of the standing leg, pushing the foot into the ground to stand up. I'm gonna go for three more. And last rep here. All right, go ahead and shake that out. Next, we're gonna move into the lateral lunge. We're gonna focus on one side, and then we're gonna switch. So for the lateral lunge, the feet are nice and wide, toes are pointed out here pretty significantly, and the weight's on the outside of the feet. I'm gonna move to my left side, keeping my right leg straight. So in this case, the left leg is the working leg, my right leg is gonna feel the stretch. So hips are going back, my right leg stays nice and straight, Keep the weight in that left heel and stand up tall. Go ahead, back to that same side for 10 reps. So up, there's one, go ahead, down, and up, there's two. So pushing those hips back, keeping the torso center as we go down and then stand back up. Don't lean to the left, keep that torso nice and centered. Feeling that stretch, climb up the right inner thigh as the left leg works. Let's get five more here. One, inhale down, big exhale as you press up. Two, three, four, last one. All right, we're gonna go ahead and switch. So now I'm going to my right side, so I'm drawing those hips back, keeping that left leg nice and straight, driving up through that right heel. Go ahead and begin, inhale down, big exhale up, 10 reps, one, Two, three again, keeping that torso center. Keep that left leg nice and tight. So as we draw the hips back, squeeze the left quad. So it acts as a stabilizer there. Let's get about five more. You should really be feeling this in those inner thighs, in the back of the hamstrings and glutes. Two more. And last one. All right. From here, we're gonna move into what's called a perpendicular squat. So it's similar to that lateral lunge, but in this case, I'm gonna step my right foot backwards so that my right heel is aligned with my left heel. My left foot is facing forward. My right foot is facing off, creating a perpendicular angle here to my body. Similar to the lateral lunge, I'm gonna push into the right leg by pushing the hips back. This time the left toes are gonna to come up as the hips go back, and then we stand up to center. Now I'm gonna switch, so I'm gonna step back with my left foot. The heels are aligned with one another. My left foot is facing off. My right foot is facing forward. From here we come down into that lunge by pushing the hips back. Let the right toes pull up, and then stand up and forward. We're gonna run through this for five each side. Try to keep up with me here. Stepping back with the right leg. Go ahead, back. Stand up to center. Stepping back with the left leg. Back, stand up to center. Again, as we step back, left leg now facing forward, right foot facing up, and continue through. You feel a huge stretch in the straight leg underneath the hamstrings as we pull the toes up toward the face, settling back into that lunge. I know this is a little difficult with the choreography, so just do your best, have some fun. One more each side, and we're gonna switch here. All right, now we're gonna move into the sumo pulse squat. Again, focusing on those inner thighs here. So for the sumo squat, get very wide in your feet with your toes pointed out. From here, so wider than your normal squat. We're gonna push those hips back and down as we drive the knees out. Now make sure you only go to a width where the knee can stay above the ankle. If your knees are inside your ankles, you just wanna reset that and narrow up a bit. All right, so into that pull squat for the sumo stance. Push those hips back, drive the knees out, we're gonna pulse at the bottom here five times. So up, down, one, up, down, two, 
three, four, one more, and then we stand all the way up, squeeze as you push the hips forward, going right back into that, we're gonna hit five of those. So down, pulse, one, two, three, four, one more, up, squeeze. As you go through, drive the hips back, drive the knees out, one, two, three, four, five, up, three more like that, hips back, knees out, one, two, three, four, five, up, two more, you should be feeling that inner thigh stretch as you drive those knees out, drive the hips back, keep the weight in the heels, three, four, one more, all right, one more rep, down, five, pulse, four, three, two, and up, squeeze the hips at the top, really feeling that there, all right, we're going to move through each of those three leg movements one more time, starting with that lateral lunge. This time I'm gonna go to my right side first. So feet are split out wide, toes are pointed out, arms are centered. Push the hips back into the right heel, keeping the left leg straight, and stand up tall. One, go ahead and begin if you haven't. Two, go to 10. Three, keep that right foot flat, right heel down, left leg nice and straight. I'm gonna hit four more on this side. One more. Feel that nice burn in the right leg. Moving on to that left side. Here we go. Hips back to the left. Weights in that left heel. Right leg straight. Stand it up tall. Go for 10 reps. Get it at your own pace. I'm on four. Here's five, halfway on this side. Two more, inhale down, big push into the ground, exhale up, last one. Woo. All right, let those legs shake out for like 10 to 20 seconds. We're gonna move back into that perpendicular lunge. As you rest, I'm just gonna go over the choreography again. So I've got both of my feet facing forward, from here, I'm going to step my right heel behind me so that the right foot is faced off, left foot faced forward. The heels are aligned with one another. I'm going to drop back into that right side, stand up to center, and then we switch left foot back, left foot facing this way, right foot facing forward, back into that lunge, up to center. Let's go ahead and begin, five each side, right foot back. Sit to that right heel, left leg straight, toes up, and switch. So to really feel that stretch in the straight leg, make sure you pull those toes up toward your face. Continue through at your own pace, get as deep as you feel comfortable. I'm halfway through here at five. Three more. One more here. And shake that out. Going right back into those sumo pulse squats. So again, only putting the feet as wide as the knees stay above the ankle. Drive the hips back, drive those knees out. Toes are pushed out. We're gonna pulse five. Go ahead and begin with me. Four, three, two, and up, go ahead, back down, here we go, five, four, three, two, and up. Now as we're going, squeeze the bottom of your leg, squeeze your butt and your hamstrings. Three, four, and up, five. Keep those muscles on, one, two, three, four, five, we're gonna do that two more times, get a little bonus rep, five, four, three, two, and up, one more of those, down, five, Four, three, two, and up. Feel that nice burn through your legs. We're gonna go ahead, get off your feet. We're gonna go ahead and lay on the ground. So now you can take your foam roller or your basketball, volleyball, or two pillows, anything you can squeeze between your legs. We're gonna go into our hip bridge. In this case, however, I'm gonna put the foam roller right between my knees 
Getting in my normal hip bridge position, so feet are underneath the knees, shoulders are back. You're gonna squeeze the foam roller or whatever you have between your legs as tight as you can. Feeling the inner thighs turn on. From here, we're gonna hip bridge up, squeeze the glutes, and then down with control. We're gonna run through that for 15 reps. Go ahead and begin. So squeeze the foam roller as tight as you can up, down with control. Keep that constant tension in your inner thighs. They might be shaking a little bit, that's okay. Here we go, 15 reps, I'm on four. Inhale down and up, squeeze the glutes at the top. Again, keeping constant tension on those inner thighs. Coming up on halfway to those 15. And about five more. Inhaling down, push the feet in the ground, squeeze the knees together, up and down. And I got three left. Squeeze nice and tight. And one more. All right, from this, we're gonna flip over onto the front side. Put the foam roller to the side there. We're gonna go into a regular plank, a side plank, and then the other side. Each one for 20 seconds. So we're totaling a minute of work here. Going down in our regular plank, go ahead and begin with me. Ready? And go. So as always, fists are tight, tuck your pelvis, squeeze your legs, and drive your fists down toward your toes. We've got 20 seconds of work here. About 15 seconds left. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Now if you can, we're gonna transition right into a side plank. So I'm gonna go on my left side, face my left fist forward, stack the feet, hips up. Here we go, 20 seconds. Right into that side plank. Legs are straight, nice and tight. If you need a modification for this, Put that front foot flat over the top. Otherwise, we're holding here for 10 more seconds. Hips up nice and tall, belly button in, neck long. Three, two, we're gonna switch right to that right side. Try not to rest. So toes are flexed, legs are straight, hips up, head long. 20 seconds. 15 seconds left. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Come on down, take a little break. We're gonna flip onto your backside. For this, we're gonna hit an alternating V up. So we get into our V up hold position, arms overhead, extend the left hand to the right foot, and then switch. We're gonna do that for about 20 reps or 10 each side. Ready? Set and begin. Here we go, one, keep that leg nice and straight. Squeeze those quads. <sighs> Breathe every rep. <sighs> Going for 20 here, I'm on seven. Try to sit up as the chest goes up and down. Keep pushing the lower back to the ground. Four more. Last rep. And take a little rest there. All right, about 20 seconds off. Just kind of let that unwind. Grab your foam roller or whatever you were using to squeeze for the hip bridges. We're gonna go right back into those for 15 reps. So as we lay on the ground, put that right in between the knees. Feet are tucked underneath the knees, shoulders are back. Squeezing those inner thighs together nice and hard. Go ahead, push the hips up. Squeeze the glutes as you go to the top. And down control, again, again 15 reps. Inhaling down, big exhale as we go up. As you go through this, try to maintain that pelvic tuck keeping the core tight. And when you go up, think of pushing the feet into the ground to create extra force, really squeezing the legs at the top of that range of motion. I'm gonna go for six more here, a little bonus rep. One, two, 
Three more. Two more. And last rep here. All right, we're gonna flip right back into that plank sequence where we hold 20 seconds to center and then 20 seconds on each side. All right, assume that plank position. Elbows underneath the shoulder, fists are tight. Ready? And begin. 20 seconds. So tuck the pelvis. Legs tight, belly button in. Push those fists down toward your toes to create that extra intensity. A little less than 15 seconds left. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Now, if we transition, try to do it without a rest. So we go right into that side plank, stack your feet, hips up, belly button in, and hold. 17, 16, 15. Let's do it. Hips up tall, legs are tight, belly button in, arm is tight, pushed into the ground. Here we go. Five, four, Three, go right to that other side without resting if you can. So neck nice and long. Top shoulder is pushed back. Hips are pushed up. Belly button in. Here we go. About halfway through this side. Ten, nine, eight, five, four, three. Two, go ahead and bring that down. All right, moving into the last exercise of this, we're hitting those alternating V-ups again. If you need a modification for this, just hold a regular plank or go into bicycle kicks. They pretty much hit the same muscle group, just a little less tension. All right, alternating V-ups. Let's aim for anywhere from 20 to 30 reps. This is the last set, see what you've got. So legs are out, arms overhead and up, and alternate. Big deep breaths, get the chest up off the ground, let it go back down. Keep the legs nice and tight by squeezing the quads. Here we go, halfway to 30, that's 15. Try to get about 20 to 30 reps. Here's 20, 21. Can you get to 30? Two more, last one. All right. Whew, let the core unwind a little bit. We're gonna get into our cool down here, starting with a nice little frog stretch. So for this, it's pretty much our half kneeling inner thigh stretch, but we're just gonna put both knees down. So we're gonna put both knees down below the hips and then widen them out as far as you feel comfortable. From here, rotate your ankles down onto the ground. So if we look at my back ankle, we don't want it up, we're gonna rotate it down so that the entire side or inner part of the foot is flat on the ground. From here, we're gonna crawl into a plank position. So the knees are wide at about 90 degrees here. The inner part of the foot is on the ground. And we're gonna inhale as we exhale, we're gonna push the hips back toward the heels, feeling that huge stretch climb up those inner thighs. So inhale, come forward, let that stretch release. And big exhale, drive the hips back. Feel that big stretch come up those inner thighs. We're gonna do that five times. Inhale forward, and then big exhale. Arch your lower back and just relax your weight back into that stretch. You did a great job today. We're gonna let that unwind. Forward. Inhale, and exhale back. Two more reps. Inhale forward, big exhale back. And last one. All right, from here, I'm gonna fold the front of my mat, moving into a half kneeling hip flexor stretch, and then into a hamstring stretch. 
So after I folded my mat, I'm gonna put the left knee down. From here, I'm gonna tuck the left toes, pushing the left hip up and forward into a pelvic tuck. I'm gonna feel a nice quad stretch. Climb up that left part of the quad. Now we're gonna extend this out today by going into our Spider-Man lunge. So now I'm gonna take my right foot forward. I'm gonna put my hands down to the inside of that right foot. I'm gonna lengthen the left foot back and untuck that left toe. From here, we arch the lower back as we drop those hips down. Feeling a nice stretch. Come through that left side of the hip and maybe the right side of the hamstrings there. From here, I'm gonna crawl back on my left knee and straighten the right leg. So now I'm on that left knee again, right leg is straight. I'm gonna go ahead and point the toes toward my face on the right side, and then from here, start to push the right hip back as you drop your chest toward your right knee. You should feel a nice big hamstring stretch. Now if your legs are a little tired, you're a little shaky, you can go ahead and hold on to something. Your foam roller might work nicely there. The same way they'll use yoga blocks when they do yoga there. So again, tucking the right toes toward the face, feeling that hamstring stretch come up the right side. And we're gonna go ahead and switch here. So I'm gonna put the right knee down, just gonna give you a different angle. Left foot is out, right foot tucked. We're gonna push the right hip up and forward, squeezing the core nice and tight, and squeezing that right glute as you really drive that right hip up and forward to feel that quad stretch on the right side. From here, that left foot is gonna come out forward, hands down to the inside of that left foot, crawl that right leg back, go ahead and arch your lower back as you drop those hips down and forward. Should feel a hip flexor stretch on the right side, a little bit of hamstring stretch on that left side. And then we're gonna push it right back into that hamstring stretch. So now on my right knee, sitting up tall, left foot is out straight. The toes on the left side are tucked toward my face as I push the hips back. Feeling that stretch climb up that left side. All right, as always, if you're looking for more Coach Jeff, head over to my YouTube channel, Metamorphic Methods, or my Facebook page, Coach Jeff, you can do some more stretching today or another one of those routines that you find there. Have a great day, guys.